So you found yourself searching for a new brand of filament and don't know which one to choose. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, how's it going? MJV back with another video. And as the title would suggest, today we'll be talking about a new brand of filament I found on Amazon. But before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe for more future 3D printed projects. So we've all heard this saying, a team is only as good as its weakest link. And in relevance to 3D printing, your prints are only as good as your filament allows them to be. My first filament of choice was ABS. It's fairly strong, durable, and inexpensive. However, persisting issues are always there, such as cracking, and warping especially if you plan to print without an enclosure so i did some research on different types of filaments and came across a plastic called pet g now in real world applications pet g is used for reusables such as water bottles plastic containers and most recently it's being used to make face shields for medical workers on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic being that this plastic does work well up to 150 degrees F or 50 to 70 degrees C and that it rarely warps or cracks during printing, it was starting to sound like a good solid replacement for ABS. So after scrolling through various Amazon products, I came to this brand called Overture. The first plus side was that Overture has a lot of nice colorways and has various 5 star reviews. Personally, I was looking for the color red, which suits the color scheme of my 3D printer from my previous video. However, there was also a handful of 1 star reviews, so I decided to put in an order with my Amazon Prime shipping, and 3 days later I was really surprised by what I got. Now unlike my Sunlu or Hatchbox filament, which I would expect to come in a cardboard box, the Overture filament was packaged in a nice silver plastic bag, which not only gives off a sense of quality, but actually protects the plastic from light degradation and can be reused to zip up other filament rolls when not in use. Along with this came some handy extras such as this ruler and an adhesive build plate that's compatible with ABS, PLA, and PET-G printing. I was also pleased to see a measurement system on the spool's faces which indicate how much filament is left after printing. This could be especially useful for printers who do not have filament detection runout systems. So in the spirit of testing a difficult detailed print, we decided to do the Xenomorph from the movie Aliens. A file I picked up on PLA Kids Patreon, which the link I will be leaving down below. I sprayed my bed down with some cleaning solution, wiped all the dust off, applied a thin layer of glue, and then got to printing. And finally guys, here are the results. And after about a week of use, I've had no negative comments to make about the filament or the Overture brand. And from what you can tell, it's contributed greatly to my 3D printed family. I'll probably give this product a 5 star review and I've also moved on to other functional prints such as this mount from my GoPro that allows me to do better time lapses from different angles, as well as a cover that protects the electronics on the Z axis of my printer. So that's about it for this video guys. If you're looking for a good, reliable filament at a decent price, 10 out of 10 I would recommend Pet G from Overture. As you guys saw, it captures detail greatly and it's very easy to print with. Also want to hear about y'all's experience with this filament. If you've used it before, did you also get good results like I did? Leave it in the comment section below. And always feel free to leave any feedback or suggestions to any future videos you'd like to see. I'm also proud to announce that we've been working on the torso prints to my Star Wars costume, so look forward to that in our next video. But until then, this is MJV signing out.